Today we're talking cold weather capsule wardrobe faves. And welcome back to Veggie Magnifique, your go-to for holistic health and a healthy vegan lifestyle. If you're new around here, my name is Anne. Hello, I'm a health coach, performer, and just a little soul trying to lead an ethical life here on this planet. I'm so excited today because we're doing content about capsule wardrobes. I love capsule wardrobes, but I haven't done any content about this because, well, largely because I didn't have one of these clothing racks, which I now have, and also because we were traveling so much and my capsule was just all over the place, but now we're settled in New Hampshire, so things are a little bit more grounded and stable. I love talking about mindful, vegan, and eco fashion and how to make better choices. Now, is my entire wardrobe eco and sustainable? No, not yet. It's a process and it just takes time to weed out and curate and find the right pieces because eco and sustainable fashion is often sold online and it can be expensive and also somewhat difficult to find pieces that actually fit you in person and that not only are the right size but like end up being the right color when you're shopping online it's a whole thing I know it I realize it I've been navigating it for a few years now and it's not the easiest so I hope that this video will provide you with inspiration for discovering some new vegan and sustainable brands that you might not have heard of before that could help you if you also have a goal of making your closet more and more eco-friendly and less and less fast fashion-y, which is, which is my goal. I'm, I'm striving to make it more and more eco-y. You know what I mean. So as many of you know, I'm into capsule wardrobes. I've been doing this for a few years now. Of course, we have a whole series on Project 333, which is Courtney Carver's three months, 33 pieces wardrobe challenge, which is amazing. I highly recommend you check that out. I will link videos that we made about that if you want to learn more. But suffice it to say, in a nutshell, it's a curated smaller capsule that really suits you and your lifestyle with pieces that you love. That's what it is. And having a capsule wardrobe results often in less stress, less decision fatigue, less overwhelm. It's an awesome way to be more mindful and comfortable in your clothes as opposed to having a million things that I don't have anything to wear. You're pulling it back to just a few things that you absolutely love and so then you always have something to wear and it's just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I absolutely love capsule wardrobes. Of course I have a penchant for minimalism so this suits me to a T. And plus of course if you're on this channel you probably are seeking to be more intentional about what you buy and what you use and that's a wonderful thing and I want to commend you for that so let's all strive to be more intentional about our lives and vote with our dollars. So with all that said about the awesomeness of capsule wardrobes, minimalism, and all that wonderful eco fanfare, let's talk about my capsule wardrobe winter faves. Plus we'll also be looking into some spring fare since we're transitioning from winter into spring. Now a disclaimer here, I am not a fashionista. I am not a fashion channel, I am not a fashionista. I am a human who likes to feel good in my clothing comfortable and look nice. I didn't study fashion. I'm just sharing some of the pieces that have worked well for me, my real person self, living in the world. So if you're a real person and you're seeking some different ideas for how to have a curated, more intentional and eco wardrobe, awesome. If you're a fashionista, if you find my fashion sense not, you know, a la hauteur, Cool, that's fine, <laughs> you don't have to watch this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have some items here from my winter capsule as well as my spring capsule. So in New Hampshire right now, it is snowing. Yesterday was snowing ad nauseum, but the birds are back. So we're in a transitional period here between two seasons. So. Also, some of you asked about vegan coats, so I wanted to address that in this video and talk a little bit about some of my favorite vegan coats, as well as, yeah, look at some pieces. So let's get started. So first things first, let's take a look at some coats. So this is my heavy duty, wham bam, it's snowing outside man coat. And this is from Noise. And this is a vegan brand in Canada that I love. And what I love about this is that it's belted because in these kind of coats, you can kind of look a little bit like the Goodyear blimp, 
With the belt, you don't. So I love that it's faux fur, of course, and it's very, very warm. And you just zip it up and you're warm for days. Now it's also very long and I'm very tall so that's really really helpful. So this is a very integral part of my capsule in the winter time because it's very cold in New Hampshire and I am totally frileuse and so it's very important for me and Noise is a cruelty free outdoor brand from Canada doing great stuff. So next up we have a coat that I've talked to you about before. This is Save the Duck. Save the Duck is incredibly fun to save. And it's also fun to wear, it turns out. These are puffer jackets that are, of course, not made with down, hence the Save the Duck. And this is a beautiful kind of, oh, I don't know, navy, purpley kind of color. And I really enjoyed that just because it's fun and it doesn't darken my face too much. I find that blue looks good on me, so I enjoy that. And yeah, I have gloves in all the pockets. <laughs> all the pockets of my coats have gloves in them, so. I'm always prepared. So Save the Duck has Plume Tech, which is an eco-friendly, heat-retaining, breathable, quick recovery synthetic down. Resistant to mold and humidity and breathability. Save the Duck, guys. So this is the coat that I wear when it's not super duper cold. Like, I wear this when it's like 40 degrees. Whereas this I'm wearing when it's like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, up to like 25 degrees. It's been really cold. I've never felt this cold in my life. <laughs> So another coat that I wear when it's not super duper cold and I want to look remotely stylish is this amazing coat from Vogue Couture. Now Vogue Couture is no longer a thing, sadly, but this is a very high-end posh jacket that I didn't actually buy. I got it from my delightful friend Aurelia, so thank you Aurelia. It is so posh. It is so like chic. I love the collar. And this is obviously a very sustainable brand made in New York, but sadly it is no longer a thing. Let's see, when did Leanne stop doing it? I'm not sure. But you may be able to find some Vogue Couture, you know, online, like on eBay or something like that, and it would probably be a lot more affordable because when you buy them new, they're just totally, totally expensive. <laughs> but to be honest with you, what's really great about this jacket and I realize this is a defunct brand, so please don't hate me for this, but it's got this inner lining, which is amazing, right? So it's almost like, you know, when you want to look chic and you wear a pea coat, but it's totally not warm enough, so you wear the puffer underneath it? This almost has it, like, built in. So yeah, so that's really nice and thick and warm. You kind of have to wear a scarf, though. So those are my coats for winter. These are the three go-to coats that I wear when it's super cold and in varying kind of, like, coldnesses. <laughs> and to be honest with you, the last year and a half, I haven't had to be chic, really, you know? It's been a weird period of life, do you feel me? So the, the chicitude didn't get as much wear as like the super practical, it's cold out. <laughs> so next I'd like to share some more eco-friendly vegan pieces with you that are more springy. Like we're kind of springing into spring. I know there's snow on the ground outside in New Hampshire. It's totally cold. However, there are birds, like I said. So spring is nigh. So let's move on to some more transitional pieces, right? So you guys have seen this if you saw my What I Eat in a Day vlog from a couple months ago. This is Will's Vegan Store. This is a leather jacket, which is super amazing. Like it's so realistic. It's just incredible. Very comfortable very quality. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Will's, Will's Vegan Store, and this is perfect for spring when you're trying to be a rock star, which, you know, we all like to be sometimes, right? Next up, I want to talk about this sweater. I've talked about this sweater before when I did a vegan sweater video. However, I just want to bring it up again because it's one of my capsule favorites. This is obviously not made of wool, which makes it vegan and sustainable and cruelty free, but also it makes it a wonderful piece that transitions from winter to spring, right? Because it's more of a lovely, breathable, cotton fabric, organic, and it just transitions really well. So this is the men's sweater. I'm not a man. <laughs> Um, but this sweater, obviously, I have in a small, and it suits me to a T if you like a slightly oversized sweater. So I highly recommend this chunky cable sweater as well. It's super fun. It goes with everything. It's vegan, cruelty-free, sustainable fashion. Now next up, this, <laughs> this is a funny piece I had to include because it is a sustainable fashion piece because it's vintage from my mom, and I love it. It's got dolman sleeves. It's a vegan velour. It's got this scrunchy waist, 
and kind of a sweatery, sweatery neck. And the reason I love it is because it's like the little black dress for cold weather. And so I basically wear it all the time. Like I saw my friend at two different events. She's like, oh, same dress, lovely. But like in a nice way. And I was like, dude, this is my go-to. This is my capsule wardrobe. This is like my favorite. And you can dress it up, you can dress it down. You can wear it with thick tights, which I do. You can wear it with black boots. It's, um, let's see what this is. This is a like a Liz Claiborne from like circa 1989. <laughs> hey, kitty, get off my dress. No. Okay, kitty's trying to attack my dress. Um, anyway, thanks, mom. The best kind of sustainable fashion is always from your mom. Kitty wants to be in the video. So next up, another piece that has been super helpful and integral for me in winter and will continue to be in spring is this white turtleneck. Just a white turtleneck. I've had it for years. It's from Muji. It's organic cotton. It's an oldie but goodie. I love the feel of it. It's super soft. And the reason that I'm talking about it is A, it's a neutral. It's great for capsule wardrobes. B, it's sustainable. But C, what's really great about this is that you can wear it under sweaters. So if you have like a sweater that's, you know, sort of not entirely soft on your skin, you can wear this under it and you're golden. I'm also on the lookout for some more organic cotton tees. So if you know any that you really love, please leave them in the comments below because I'm on the hunt for some really good ones, so. Thanks in advance. Next up, this is a bit more springy. These are my Everlane black slacks. So you've seen these before years ago in another capsule wardrobe because they've stood the test of time, because they're fantastic and they have a little bit of cat fur on them, but alas, we have cat. What I love about these is that they go with absolutely everything. They're super comfortable and they're almost high waist. Like I'd love it if they were a little bit higher just because of the way that I'm like put together. However, it works. And what's so great about these slacks is Everlane. Okay, so are they sustainable? Ish. They are ish sustainable. A lot of their clothing is organic and they're more transparent. Some super hardcore green fashionista people say that it's not the most sustainable. However, what's great about it is it's kind of a midway point. It's not very expensive. They're a lot more transparent. So they're not like as amazing as say Will's Vegan Store, which is like husband and wife team and everything is super carbon neutral and absolutely amazing and like transparent. They're like a middle of the road kind of greeny company that could do a little better, but is way better than like the major fast fashion labels. And they have, again, like I said, stood the test of time. And they are great for spring, super great for spring. Very lightweight, very comfortable, don't wrinkle. Highly recommend you check out these pants. I don't know if they're still available because I've had them for years. I will try to link them. I will try to link everything. Okay, next up, I'm so excited about this. This is my new favorite hat. So let me tell you about hats. Hats, the kind that are awesome and cool and wide brimmed like this one, are almost always made of wool. Like everywhere you look, fashion hats, fantastic with brims and fedoras and blah, blah, they're all made of wool. It's so frustrating because I love big hats and I don't wanna wear wool. So I finally found one on Etsy. So I'm gonna link this woman's shop because it is so exciting. She has these awesome hats. They are wide brimmed like I like. I just love it. It's super quality, very hard. Like when they send them to you, it's very well packaged so there's no denting or anything. It's on Etsy, you're supporting small business and you get a hat that is vegan. Hallelujah. This is like the dark taupe color, I think. Cis hats is what the company is called, I think. I'll link it. But this is obviously a wonderful spring piece because it transitions from winter to, cause it's kind of like, it's got some like, you know, some weight to it. You know, it's not like one of those floppy summer hats. It's like a solid hat that can be worn with sundresses or that can be worn with jackets as well. So, I love it. So let's talk a little bit about boots before we wrap up this video about my winter spring capsule. Okay, so these are Will's vegan booties. They are the Chelsea boots. And I have to say, like, if you're in the market for boots, 
get Will's vegan boots. They're the best. My husband has Will's vegan boots. I have several pairs of Will's vegan boots. They last forever. I have another pair that I'm gonna show you that I've had forever. And they're comfortable, they're well made. If you need boots, go to Will's Vegan Shop. They ship internationally. Like if you need stilettos, maybe not go to Will's. But if you need boots, go to Will's Vegan Shop. And these are the black new Chelsea boots. They have the old Chelsea's as well. I think these are called the Lux Chelsea's. Highly recommend them. They're super solid. They go with everything. They have some good tread. A small heel for comfort. Highly recommend these Chelsea boots. I know Chloe has worn her Will's Chelsea boots for like eternity. Another fave for my winter and spring capsule are these high top sneakers. Because like I said, sometimes, you know, everyone wants to be a rock star. And these are super rock star. When I wear these, I feel like a rock star, which I really like. And, <laughs> and they go with everything. They're super casual. They go with basically everything except maybe this among these capsule favorites. And I love the white bottom. I just love the white. Like if these are all black, I wouldn't love them as much. And everyone needs some kicks, right? Everyone needs some kicks to just slip on. And since over the past like year, we haven't had as many fancy shebangs, you need some sneaks. So I highly recommend these. These are from Will's Vegan Shop. Again, boots, sneaker boots. You need boots, you go to Will's. And my last favorite are these. You've seen these before in basically every other capsule wardrobe video that you have seen on Veggie Many Feet because I love them and I've had them rehealed for the past like five years and I wear them more than any other shoe. So these biker boots from Wills, I mean they look, you know, a little bit worn but I've been wearing them literally almost every day for like five years. So highly recommend you check these out if you like that style. I do, they're my favorite. They're easy to slip on, there's no fuss, love them. And what's so great about those boots is they really transition from winter to spring super well because they're not like big and involved for spring. They can totally be worn with like more springy kind of like lighter flowy stuff if you want to have that like balance. And then naturally I've worn them all winter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so thrilled that you're here. Thank you for being a part of the Veggie Many Feet family. If you aren't yet, definitely click the link below to subscribe. It's the big red button. It's free. Also, if you haven't joined the newsletter group, you can definitely do so and subscribe to the Veggie Many Feet newsletter where I share things that I don't share anywhere else so that you could be in the loop. I would love that. Of course, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, it really means a lot if you tell me so. That would be awesome. Leave a comment down below and say hi and share some of your favorite ethical and vegan fashion brands or some tips and tricks to help me and my audience obviously we're all reading the comments so if you have something to add to this conversation about capsule wardrobes and about cool brands that you've discovered that are doing things more ethically please share below and I will look forward to seeing you next week bye <laughs>